<laughs> okay, I will try to make this quick. So someone commented. Their name is, you see right here, it's called Blended Whiskey. Who taught you this? You know, when I gave the scripture about, you know, that no man teaches you with the same anointing, you know, that the Holy Spirit teaches you all things. But their name is Blended Whiskey, okay? Then I go here. See, who taught you this? They changed their name, as you can see. The Spirit of Sophia. Um, wisdom. But this wisdom is not from above. It's earthly, de devil, devilish, sensual. Um, earthly, sensual, devilish. So they went from blended whiskey to Spirit of Sophia. So they changed their name, Sophia. But this is another wisdom. Um, I'm doing a video really quick, Aiden. Hang on. Doing a video really quick. Um, in case they erase it, because this has happened before. Um, you know, they give their understanding of what the scriptures are about emptying your mind. Not to judge your thoughts, just have an empty mind. Don't judge your thoughts and just let what comes in go out until your mind is completely empty and clear. I practice this. This is what they taught on the Oprah Winfrey show, Eric at a card or whatever. Just be, I am. I would literally lay back in bed like this and I would, I'm not even going to tell you because I don't want people practicing this, but I'll tell you a little bit just so you understand what she's teaching here. Um, the spirit of Sophia, um, twisting the word of God is what it is. It's twisted. That's what it is. Um, cause I did this and I got filled up with more problems, more devils. Start hearing voices, more frequency voices. And that actually said, it's interesting that her name is, she changed the name to Spirit of Sophia. I heard a frequency white noise outside my head on my ear that said, wake up and worship the goddess. Remember, Satan's the prince of the power of the air. He's another wisdom, wisdom from below. Um, so wake up and worship the goddess. Sophia means wisdom, right? Um, so this wisdom is earthly, sensual, devilish. It's not from above. It's not God's wisdom. Um, but empty your mind if you empty your mind and nothing Tell everything's out of it. Then she's waiting for a still, small voice to just come when your mind's blank and you practice blanking your mind. No, you don't want to practice mind blanking techniques. No, um, because what's going to come in if you don't be the gatekeeper, keep watch, the watchtower, watch your mind, watch what goes in there, the gate. Well, it's like namaste, switch, unscramble the words. Me, Satan, namaste, me, Satan, you're invoking devils. So that's why I was hearing voices more, more voices. Than I was before it stopped for a while they went dormant and then when I practiced this practice I started hearing the wake up and worship the goddess Sophia spirit of Sophia okay so um yeah it's pretty crazy so I would empty my mind and then till no thoughts come in is what she's teaching me to do here to empty your mind till nothing comes in until you hear the still small voice of God the Holy Spirit and then that voice will lead you and then you look at then you follow him no don't follow him I don't care that there's scripture with this. You don't follow him. You medit You don't meditate on nothing. You meditate on the word of God. That's what you meditate on, the word of God. And you follow that voice. And his, when you sow to the spirit, the good seed is going to come into your mind. And you'll know it's him because it's written. The Jesus beat the devil in the wilderness with it is written. Right? It is written. It is written. It is written. That's what he beat the devil with in the wilderness. It is written. Okay? That's how you defeat him. But you don't want to empty your mind. Do this mind blinking stuff and just tell all your thoughts go out, practice this. And then my body would vibrate because it's the prince of the power of the air, right? Vibration, frequency, white noise, um, the prince of the power of the air, the atmosphere. Um, these are foul birds, okay? Angry birds, spirits that will come in. So you free your mind, completely free your mind. We're supposed to take our thoughts captive is what Jesus teaches, not free your mind. Um, but this is teaching to New Age mysticism, you know, calling it Jesus um, for your mind. And then... Stuff will start to enter. I get to where my body would separate from my awareness. My body would be falling asleep, but it wouldn't wasn't connected to my brain anymore. My body's falling asleep, but my awareness, my brain, went, my brain, I had no thoughts, completely none. It's not like oh, I was up all night with anxiety. No, my I'm starting to fall asleep, and and my body would be falling asleep at rest, but the awareness is still there. Then that's when I feel my body would start vibrating, and usually would go into a sleep paralysis attack, or it would go into me leaving my body astral projection i try to shake my hand until i get whoop back into my body so no don't free your mind if you take your thoughts captive and you don't meditate on nothing and yes you judge your thoughts you don't just let your thoughts come i'm not going to judge you oh you want you want you like porn oh um a male uh, genitals just went through my mind don't judge that thought just let that go right through my mind oh a thought of um you know doing something bad to a child let me just let that thought don't judge that. Don't judge that thought. She tells you not to judge the thoughts. See, don't judge the thoughts. 
So just just let no judgment. Or, um, don't try to control or be judgmental. Just let the thoughts come in like birds flying into a tree. Uh, yeah, foul birds, evil spirits. A house Babylon is fallen and is a house of every unclean spirit and hateful bird. Don't let your thoughts flow just like a bird. See, she says this here right under where I'm putting this. Let your mind go, basically. Go into your prayer closet inside your mind and let your thoughts come and go. Don't try to control or be judgmental of them. Just let them go in like birds flying. Yeah, I became a house of, and, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird was in my spiritual house. That Don't you do that. Um, you do judge your thoughts when they come and they are evil, wicked thoughts. Yes, you bind them and you'll know, you'll be able to dis discern what is good and evil, what is sin and what's not. What's Think on things that are pure and true. If you're thinking on things that are not and you can discern that, yes, you take it captive like Jesus taught. That's how you do it. You don't just, I'm not going to judge you thought. Um, oh, I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking about cheating on my husband. Just let that thought, I'm not going to judge that. Just, you know, let that go out. It's okay. No. You take it captive. That's what Jesus taught. This is another Jesus beware. The Sophia spirit who changed her name. Um, don't practice. I already practiced this. I already did this. Jesus is freeing me from it. I don't have sleep paralysis no more. I don't hear voices anymore that are outside, inside my head. I've heard them too. Um, no, he's he's freeing me, delivering me from this. It takes time. It takes time. Um, so let me just see if there's anything else here. So I said no mind blanking. I was a numb zombie before. It's replacing the bad with the good, right? You want to meditate on God's word. No torment or anxious thoughts, no meds, drinks. Because I said that because her name was, this, or his name, whoever you are, um, their name was, your name was still um, blended whiskey. So then changed it to, to the spirit, Sophia, the spirit of Sophia, and asked me, what spirit do I have in me? So let's see. Walk in tabernacles, meditate on the word. So, um, she says to me, all these are true, but what spirit is in you? Well, what spirit is in you, spirit of Sophia? Wisdom. That's not God's wisdom. That's the pine cone wisdom from the Vatican. That's New Age Eastern mysticism, and you're adding it to the word of God. It's another, it's another Jesus. You know, least I fear by any means, as Satan be gullied Eve. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. It's about the mind. Yes, They're, they know that. They know that that much. But I already practiced this, so you're not going to snare me and spy out my liberty and to bring me back into bondage, okay? Um, let these evil spirits back in. Um, the same spirit you're born with. Okay, so yeah, we're born spiritually dead, and then you get quickened in your spirit, newness of life, born again of the Holy Spirit. The new spirit that goes in you is the Holy Spirit. You're not born with the Holy Spirit or anything. You get quickened. Um, I'm still at my... I'm still at my family's house they're i know they're really loud over here i'm sorry you guys um talked about the deeds of the flesh so i said this who is this spirit of sophia this wisdom where are you getting this wisdom from you know and um you know attaching jesus name to it you know the woe to these prophets who steal my word everyone from their neighbor right um it's not God's wisdom. I emptied my mind before. Asher projected has sleep paralysis attacks that I think Jesus' name and the attack would stop. Um, that went on for years. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. Whole body would vibrate. Body, sleep, but mind awareness. And that's when it would happen. No good. Um, I was touched too. I mean, it's bad, okay? Jesus healed me of that. I heard a woman's voice in the white, white noise coming out of my box van too before. But right up to my ear, say, wake up and worship the goddess. Goddess. Spirit of Sophia. Wake up and worship the goddess. You're back. You're back to spy out my liberty and bring you back into bondage. So who is this spirit of Sophia, right? So this spirit of Sophia is not the Holy Spirit. Um, and my head is peace. So I'm not looking to, um, Jesus will patch everything up like he is. And then everything on the channel is um, horses and cows. So it made me think of the golden calf, the golden idol, you know, it made me think of that. Um, yeah, sounds like new age mysticism. I, I mean, I've already, I've already done this. I've already practiced this before. Um, I said, I never heard... Oh, she wrote me back. Um, I'm going to look him up now. Never talked to anyone um, with the same experience. I've never talked to anyone with the same experience since that happened to me about 27 years ago. I've followed this same spirit, not my own, since then. At first, it was really weird and awkward. Some of the things it would tell me to do would seem crazy. I was riding a bike at the time, and it kept telling me to run into the curb. Then I would crash. Why? I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Um. Listen. Sophia spirit. That's wisdom, pinecone wisdom. That's not what you think. I was running on that spirit. 
Like, why would I hear, when I emptied my mind like you're telling me to do again, why would I hear wake up and worship the goddess, a real audible voice? And then you come with the same doctrine, the same doctrine that I just came out of, that's, that I was delivered out of, okay? And I was tormented hearing wake up and worship the goddess, an audible woman's voice, like sound like static frequency, white noise. And you're calling yourself Spirit of Sophia. The same thing as wake up and worship the goddess. This is the false awakening. Like everyone's woke. That's a counterfeit woke. Remember, there's a counterfeit and it's not who you, it's not Jesus. Okay. So she'd run to the curb and crash. I don't know. Things that I enjoyed, like going to Bible studies, I would instead stay, say sleep in. I said say sleep in. Never it is rambling or ancient. Um, simple instructions, turn right, just wait, keep going. My spirit is alongside his. Like when I write this, he says, that is right. Here's what he says to you. Girlfriend, your friend is gone, long gone. Now look at me like you should all along. <sighs> okay, I'm, if you were to go and type all that into, go to Blue Letter Bible and type that in. Here is what he's, type this in. Girlfriend, your friend is gone, long gone. Look, now, now look to me like you should. Um, girlfriend, your friend is gone, long gone. Um... Girlfriend, your friend is gone, long gone, long gone. Remember, Jesus beat the devil in the wilderness with it is written. This is not written. It's not written. It's another spirit. The same spirit of Sophia, the wisdom of the earth. Um, I'll show you. There's a counterfeit wisdom, okay? This wisdom descendeth not from above. The spirit of Sophia is the same spirit that I had. Wake up and worship the goddess. I heard an audible voice of a woman. This is the spirit of Sophia. This is the wisdom that is earthly, sensual, devilish. And you're talking about birds flying through a tree and all this. Um, Babylon has fallen, right? And become the habitation of every unclean spirit and hateful bird. These were birds. I was a cage, an open door. I just left my mind's gate, my mind's eye, my mind's gate. I stopped keeping watch of the mind, of the thoughts, and I just let anything in, anything out, whatever wanted to come in, whatever wanted to come out. That's dangerous. That's how all these evil spirits got in because I was practicing that. I was practicing just free your mind. Don't take nothing captive. Don't judge your thoughts. God won't judge them. Don't judge your thoughts. Just let them come in and let them go out when they go out. You have to have rule over your own spirit. You can't just let your mind be free. Let me see if I can get it. Like uh, He that hath no rule over his own spirit. Okay? You don't want to have no rule over your own spirit. Just let whatever comes, whatever junk, garbage, crap, nonsense, and lies, fork tongue of the serpent, Whatever lies, the fruit of lies, the fruit, the forbidden fruit wasn't an apple. It was a fruit of lies. You don't want whatever garbage just to enter in and call it wisdom. Just let anything in. You have no rule over your own spirit. It's like a city that is broken down and without walls. You want to keep those walls because here's what happens if you don't. Here's what happens if you don't. Um... Okay, now here's what happens if you don't keep watch of the gate, um, watch what the thoughts that come in and do what Jesus taught, take them captive, okay? You want this stuff out. You don't want to, what you're practicing, it's not wisdom. It's not the wisdom of God. It's not from above. Um, he that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh a hedge, a serpent shall bite him. So if you're not keeping watch over your own spirit, you can't rule over your own spirit, and you're not watching, and the walls are coming down, and you know, your city without walls. Well, you break a hedge, a serpent will bite, and that's what happened. That's why I heard come up to my face an energy that was, I heard it, a hiss, because I agitated these devils, because I had, because they're, they're, they were saying to me, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know, Peter, I know, but who are you? And the thing I heard an audible and felt the energy come through my wall, hissed in my face because it was saying, who are you? 
okay? Because I was practicing what you're telling me to practice again. And I'm telling you I was delivered from it. So um, I'm. this is an admonishment in, the, you know, in love. Hopes that you'll see this. Um, I have a lot of stuff about the pine cone, about Sophia the pine cone. I'm just not going to have time to do all this on this video. But um, if you're interested and you want to talk about this stuff, I'm open to talk about it. I was doing what you were doing. Um, God's not going to tell you to crash your bike and... Um, it's just, it's another voice. You gotta, you gotta search the scriptures. See, look at, you gotta, you gotta test the spirit. He says, try the spirits to know whether, whether they're of God. You gotta try that spirit, test that spirit to know if it's God. And the way you do that is these were more noble than those in Thessalonica. You want to be like these, okay? The Bereans in that they received the word. You got to receive this word into your mind, receive it. I agree. I believe with this word. Um, this is your instructions. Okay. With all readiness of mind. And they searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so um search the scriptures does god tell you to do that does god say hey girlfriend um whatever the stuff that that, that you're hearing that's coming into you this other still small voice that imitates god it's a counterfeit because satan said i will be like the most high right um let us see sophia and bible yeah sophia Are you making a video? oh yes aiden so i'm making a video yep what yeah she celebrated in kabbalah anyway my my nephew's in here um so i cannot get into this but um this is a wisdom that descendeth from not above but from below earthly wisdom it's the pine cone sophia um this isn't this is not the holy spirit this satan counterfeits satan counterfeits everything um yeah, all I know is the experience that I had um, with what you're saying to do, the emptying your mind kind of thing, and just um, not judging your thoughts and letting whatever come in, come in, go out until until you have no thoughts. But then, you know what? I was numb and I felt like a zombie. I couldn't even feel emotions anymore. I had no peace or joy either. Um, when I was practicing what you're telling me to practice again, I had no peace or joy. I didn't have any fruits of the spirit manifest. None of that stuff. I didn't. Have any, <clears throat> I didn't. Um, I didn't have any of that stuff manifest. Um, I was actually empty-minded. Um, and I looked like this a lot of the time. Like where nothing was going in my head, if that makes sense. Where everything, like I didn't care about anything anymore, if that makes sense. And I was kind of just like, my mind was blank. And I sit there and I just kind of like slow to reaction and not really take interest in anything anymore. I lost interest in life. Um, so I'm not going to practice um, these things again because Jesus has delivered me out of it. This is my nephew, Aiden. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, you know what? I just have to... Um, correct you there's a lot of babies babes in christ and i'm not i'm of no level of maturity myself okay i'm growing too and i'm a student every day but uh, there's a lot of babes that need the correction rod um and the word of god is what does it so um i, I believe that you care and um you're trying to um you know you're just you hear what i'm saying and you're connecting with it but i'm telling you i've already gone that way what you're what you're saying it's not it's not what you think um, and I'm not opening that door again. That door is shut. That door is staying shut. I'm going to continue following the word, um, is because here's why I'm going to follow the word. Um, okay. Here's why I'm going to keep following the word because we're on a journey and we have our lantern and yes, it's faith, but oh vain man, don't you know that faith without works is dead? Faith is faith, um, produces the good fruits, um, all that kind of stuff. It's not just believe and do nothing. You believe and you receive and apply it, which you understand that because you said that. But like, but but you're going the way that I was that I went. Okay, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. It's a lamp, a light unto my path. I'm gonna abide in the word, abide in the vine, um, because now I do have real joy. I have my feelings. I I can feel again. Before I was numb when I was practicing that. I had no feelings, and I was yeah. I can feel again. I have joy now. I've got fruits manifesting. Um, and peace of mind. I've got a peace of mind. Um. I was empty. I was empty when I, I was empty when I was practicing that. There was still a void. Uh, yeah, just search the scriptures because Jesus beat the devil in the wilderness with "It is written." If it's not written, you better, you know, it's a spirit. Try the spirit by the spirit. Uh, try the spirit test. You know, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they've got or whether, whether they are of God. Try that spirit that's coming to you. Try that spirit whether they're of God, because many false prophets are going out in the world, and many say, "I'm Christ. I'm Christ." Um, all right, this is getting very long. I need to let you go. So God bless you in Jesus' name. And I hope you don't mind me uh, making a video and talking to you because since I have 
gone through this already, what you're explaining, I feel like it's very important for me to at least give you a fair warning and say that that's what I was delivered out of. It's not the wisdom that you think. Um, and this way you don't open the door to things and start getting the same demonic attacks and hearing these things, the voices that I was hearing and different things. But it all connects together. Spirit of Sophia. Um, wake up and worship the goddess that I was hearing. It all ties together. And do not watch Jonathan Cleck. My point with that was um, <laughs> he has that same spirit, that goddess worship spirit. He has that same spirit. Um, so me practicing that and listening to a false teacher, um, that spirit was manifest. And me practicing emptying my mind like you're saying. All right, um, God bless you in Jesus' name.